Hi, welcome to the Frugal Frail. I'm Suki, your host. And today we're going to show you how, or I'm going to show you how I painted this bird folk art motif onto this wooden panel door. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, and comment. It helps our channel out and we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I have primed the doors and now I am painting on the colors to match the antique cabinet. I'm going to start with the blue first. After I painted the blue, I went ahead and did the very center or the raised part of the panel with a cream color that matches my woodwork and also happens to match probably what's underneath the original antique cabinet. Next, I taped off the center panel and applied the final coat of the rust color. After leaving the panel to dry for a day, I traced over my pattern onto the panel using unwaxed seamstress transfer paper underneath. When the tracing was complete, I carefully lifted off my drawing and the transfer paper. I did notice that I missed a little spot there so I'm just lightly penciling it in and it will get covered up with paint anyways. Here you can see the completed design. I made a copy of my picture and used colored pencils to definitively determine my colors ahead of time. I started with the birds first and also the upper center motif since it was in the same color family as the birds. On the first of the two bird panel doors, I painted the tail feathers a bit too red-orange. I later toned them down after painting the second panel. I later corrected the tail feathers of the left side bird. Since I had painted an extra feather on the left-hand side of this bird, I simply painted it over with the background cream color. After the birds and upper center motif were complete, I added green to my palette to paint the foliage beneath the birds and just began to paint them fairly loosely using very simple brush strokes, one on each side of the leaf. To add interest and dimension to the leaves, I mix up a lighter green and I just put a little highlight in the middle of each leaf. The folk painting of this panel is now complete and all I need to do is apply the antiquing glaze over it. For the antiquing glaze step, I am simply using leftover water-based deck stain. I allowed my painting to set for about two days before applying the glaze and that is just so I would not disrupt any of the painting. 
I do the entire door. And I'm just careful the way I do it. I follow the wood grain. The door panel is complete and the glazing has been applied and allowed to dry. You can see we've got the panels installed now and they were actually doors and so we hung them above the cabinet we built above this cabinet. We did our best to try to match the antique style of this cabinet with the new cabinet above. We, of course, I imitated the color scheme and I did my own version of folk art painting. I took some of the motifs from below, but I added my own little touch because after it all, I don't want it to be exact. I want it to be a little bit off so people can question that. Anyways, a little mystery is always good. The other thing is these doors had an interesting profile and we'll show you that in another shot. Uh, they had a round over on this edge and then a rabbit underneath which allowed the rest of the door frame to fit inside of the opening of the cabinet. So we imitated that same profile up here. The only thing we did different was these had a slightly different type of joinery here and here. And so we did our own standard um, joinery that we do here, which is kind of a blind tenon and uh, that always works well for us. So that didn't really matter that it doesn't have this little diagonal cut. And for whatever reason, I guess the maker decided that was an appropriate way to do it, but we did it this way. So I think that's good enough. I still have to put knobs on these doors, but since this door was only operated by a key and a lock to unlock this door, um, I just want something very low profile, so I think we're just going to make some squarish wooden knobs and I'm going to paint them blue because I don't really want them to stand out and be a feature that you look at on this particular door. Here you can see the round over and the recess on the frame. This is the completed project from a couple of different angles just so you can see it in context in the room. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and comment.